It is not a secret that despite all amazing Russian qualities, there is one extremely negative feeling of desperation and alert helplessness. We take the good for granted and are always searching for something bad. Meanwhile, the country has all reasons to be highly positive valued by its citizens. For example, facing increasing trade issues with the United States, Russia actively creating free trade zones for national currencies with Vietnam, India, Argentina and China. However, how many have heard of this? The country already has signed an agreement by Iranian oil in exchange for the construction of a nuclear power plant with eight power units. In the Sea of Japan, Moscow and Beijing together building the largest port in the world and the whole BRICS organization keep working on building an alternative to the Panama Canal. Absolute majority didn't notice that the historical agreement on the Caspian Sea also turned out to be more important than many thought. After all, agreement put to an end not only military threats to Russia, but also to the plans of Western transnational corporations to seize Caspian State oil fields. Russia's largest solar power plant was launched in Altai, and Russian developers made computer program was first in the world to pass the famous Alan Turing test. It is still considered okay not to speak anything good about success and keep it quiet, but step by step situation is changing and it should never be as it was before. FNPPs, floating nuclear power plants, are without doubt an exaggeration of Russia's success, a new class of energy source based on Russian nuclear shipbuilding technologies. Each and every word here must be written with caps and be on the front page, but the local press and society underestimates this fact. Anyway, today we are talking about the world's first and only floating nuclear power plant, with the production technology is available only in Russia. In the future opportunities for the construction of an entire fleet of the Russian Federation opens up no matter what sanctions are imposed and will be imposed. The floating power unit Academic Lomonosov Project 2870 is only the head project of a series of mobile movable power units of low power. It is designed to operate as a part of unified floating nuclear thermal power plants fleet and has been under construction since 2008. Academic Lomonosov has two nuclear installations with capacity of 35 megawatts each, first of which was launched back in 2018 and the second one in 2019. The floating nuclear power plant was first delivered to the customer in the summer of 2019 and because of its mobility will supply energy from the sea to where it has never been delivered before. The floating energy block can work in any ocean, in any sea, up to island states on the equator or low developed territories along the northern sea road or even in larger and deep rivers. Russian invention is way ahead of its time and while many countries are in the quay for it, West already began to create legal obstacles. In international maritime law there is no such clause as non-self-propelled nuclear facility and therefore our rivals try to do all they can to disrupt, destroy or even steal the magnificent breakthrough technological masterpiece. Academic Lomonosov's two reactors that have a diameter of only 2 meters and burn only a couple of hundred grams of nuclear fuel per day generate 70 megawatts of electricity which is enough to fully illuminate and heat a city with 80,000 residents. The very ship has five circuits of defense, double hull, and can withstand not only collisions with large ships, icebergs, but also, due to its special design, able to survive a tsunami. The Russian floating station, a global breakthrough in low power nuclear energy, which was made in our country. Russia was the first that created such technology and put it into work. Despite sanctions, informational war and a hot rivalry, latest and most invented innovations were used to create this complex. It was first such experience and Russian designers, specialists, developers, creators of the latest alloys, nuclear scientists and all other professionals had to overcome challenges that never had before and they did. The ship will be moved only once every 12 years for necessary maintenance It is not only floating nuclear power plant but factory itself. Separate rooms and laboratories, transshipment sectors, compartments for loading fuel assemblies, inspection laboratories, preparing rooms and the most unique of all, a spent fuel rod storage workshop. The fuel assembly is designed to work for 3-5 years, while the station itself is autonomy cycle for 12. Floating nuclear power plant is able to carry out many maintenance procedures fully by itself. The systems for loading, storing and unloading spent fuel were created taking into account all possible emergencies. 
While academic Lomonosov has already completed and on his duty in the city of Pevek, works on designing more advanced and even more powerful floating nuclear power plants are in full swing. We are talking about smaller floating nuclear power plants, but with even more impressive characteristics than the parent project. The new stations will be equipped with RITM-200 reactors and in 2018 such a reactor was installed on the new Russian icebreaker Ural, the third ship in the series after the nuclear power icebreaker Arctica which began operation in 2019 and the icebreaker Spear that started in 2020. Russia's leadership in this area comes from the country's leadership in development and operation of nuclear icebreaker fleet. A number of various and highly advanced technologies were used in making new floating nuclear power plants and a herd and a core nuclear icebreakers engine which has been tested during long-term operations and the hard arctic conditions. It is good that modern-day Russia does not focus on preventive exports and will use stations to the needs of the country like the replacement of retired capacities of the Bilbin nuclear power plant which has been operating since 1974 and the supply of energy to the main mining companies and development of territories along the northern sea route. After all, the floating nuclear power plant is an absolutely unique project without analogs in the world and today's Russia is a global innovator and technological pioneer. In April 2018 the floating station Academic Lamanasov successfully moored in Murmansk. In 2019 the new floating station expanded the project and next three years Russia will build and launch for one new nuclear icebreaker each year. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell.